Paul De Luca has a brilliant idea. I'll let you be the judge of whether you think it's brilliant or not. But he would like to open a McDonald's inside of a church. He feels that we're having a great exodus, especially in Christianity, and so his solution is to have food, and more specifically, have a McDonald's so you can pray differently. What do you make of this idea? Here we're combining sort of religion with. Oh yeah, he also has a ton of products that he'd like to sell. Obviously, McMass is awesome. Yeah, I merchandise. Love that, are yeah. you surprised by this? Yeah. It's not just about the fries. You can get a hat with that apparently as well. Well, I, I think this is brilliant. I like it. Um, have you guys ever seen a mega church? I have seen one. Yeah. I've have you seen one, Jimmy? A mega church? And not in person. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't go inside of it, but I drove by a few. Yeah, I drove. Oh, yeah. I've driven past sure. It's like a little miniature city. Mm -hmm. Of course they should have restaurants inside of it. Why not, why not a McDonald's, right? Yeah. Uh, some people would, I guess, think it's disrespectful or whatever. How? Why does it mean it's... it's well, especially in some um, religions, you have <clears throat> a certain way of doing things, and things are sacred, and you don't change them. This is, you know, you're meant to respect the way things have been done for you know, yeah. hundreds of years. And so you have the same prayers, you have the same rituals, you stand, you kneel, you like, it's a ritualized process and whenever you try to change it, people get very upset. Mm. It's well, considered I just, disrespectful. Yeah, well, if, if it was maybe, if it was a little bit better food, maybe, because McDonald's is kind of low end. I like a Burger King better. The Clinton, oh. so, <laughs> Burling beats frying, oh I'll tell you that. We're talking about the, well, yeah. so, and you know, McDonald's has made no comment on this, uh, but Paul DeLuca thinks that it could potentially have an impact. He's the, McDo the McMass project leader, and he says, will McDonald's save Christianity in America? Maybe not, and in fact, probably not, but the Ma McMass project has the power to get this conversation started. We're talking well, so about I it like now. I, I, think I didn't know Christianity was hanging by a thread. Yeah, I like Paul DeLuca well. because he's an enterprising entrepreneur. Look at him. I mean, he's an entrepreneur, yeah. Yeah, uh, whether it's McDonald's or Burger King or Subway, whatever it is, putting it inside of a giant um, facility with like 30,000 people who are kind of your captive audience mm -hmm. is brilliant. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, and, you know, some of these church activities, well, the churches are designed so you're there all day. So they have, you know, they have the mass or they have service. Then they have some sort of other event. Yeah. Then they have, you know, Bible yeah. study. Mm -hmm. Then they have singles ministry. They have all, they have stuff all day long. So. They get hungry, yeah, and so now you don't have to leave, you can stay there and, and Paul, just eat. Yeah, Paul DeLuca wants people to stay, so he yeah. cites statistics that say that three million people left the church in the U.S. alone in 2012, and he says he wants to bring people back. Do you actually oh, think that come this- back from McDonald's. <laughs> you know, I really kind of thought it was all that. Do you think it might have the opposite effect? This is what I was thinking about. Because we're, we're commercializing religion, I think for me it makes it even more apparent that religion is oftentimes a business, and it's a about making a profit. Of course it is, and uh, if you this if you highlights attend, it for people. If you attend a mega church and you don't think it's already commercialized, no well, kidding. I mean, come on. Like adding McDonald's doesn't make it any more commercial. It's already ridiculously commercialized. It's a it's a little miniature city that's tax exempt, and you're creating your own little economy with, inside of it already. Adding McDonald's is nothing. So do you it's feel nothing. like this is defeating the purpose? Do you feel like he's, he might have some people that are? even more uh, reticent to go to church or reticent to go back to the No, to I, the I think it makes it more convenient. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 